what's up, Hellbait fam? It's your boy Flip, and today we're back to talk about cotton. A super exciting subject, right? But not all cotton is created equal. There are certain cottons that are better for certain things, and we're about to go over exactly what I mean. Now, different cotton comes in all types of shapes and sizes, and organic and non-organic and all types of stuff that you could possibly think of but we have composed like somewhat of a list of top performing cotton in the industry today that you probably want to be able to pick up and you're probably sitting there asking yourself like what is this really that important like isn't it just cotton but like i said not all cotton is created equal and you might find that you like one brand of cotton a lot more than you like another like a lot of you might know Cotton Bacon and their full line, Cotton Bacon V2, Cotton Bacon Prime. This is a really good cotton all around, especially for if you're vaping on high wattages because it's a more heat resistant type of cotton. If you're using a high resistance build like MTL vaping or something like that, you might be able to get away with just those cotton pads. Very cheap, very easy, and honestly, all cotton's pretty cheap. It's probably like the cheapest thing you can buy, right? But if you're going for that high wattage vaping with the low ohm resistances, cotton bacon or cotton, or I got candies, cotton candy collection, unicorn hair, and there's a couple others that are like a lot better for high wattage vaping because they make it more heat resistant. Now, with all this in mind, quick plug to ourselves, we've come up with these cotton travel sets. They come with everything you need. They come with two pieces of, what's that thing called? Ag-leaded? ag, -leaded? ag cotton. Let me open this up just to show you everything you get inside. First thing you see when you open up the bag is a little disposable tweezer set. You also get small disposable scissors. And you get two pieces of um, ag-leaded? Ag ag-leaded cotton. The kind of the shoestring ones. I like these a lot. It makes it really easy to throw it through your coil. Uh, you just chop it off at the ends. You probably get away with using just one of these for two coils, depending on how high your build sits. Just cut that end off, maybe cut it in half. You'll be good to go. We well, don't cut it in half, you know what I mean. We've designed this cotton to be heat resistant, so it's really good for your high wattage vaping. Also throughout testing, we made sure there was very little break in time. If you're new to vaping, break in time is like how long it takes for your cotton to really produce the full flavor of your juice. It also has really great change over time. So if you have one juice in there and you wanna start vaping another juice and you just start adding that new juice on top, you probably won't taste that other juice uh, for too much longer. It should switch over relatively quickly to uh, whatever the new flavor you're vaping is. I know some people do this. Some people just like to change out their cotton and fresh wick their stuff. I'm one of those people too. I have a lot of these laying around, so I can do that. Plus, like I said, cotton's inexpensive. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, we enjoyed being here and making these for you. We can't wait to see you next time. Peace.